Hi guys, Victor is again here and well in our previous video I show you that Adform Restores W was failing, it was uh, making some apps to not get installed properly and we did some test case to show or to replicate the same issue. Okay, now today we are going to perform a really small, probably the first uh, wind, wind bug session for dummies. By the way, WinDBG is not saying WinDBG, but you have to call it WinBot to be cool and pro. So, um, so today we have WinBot uh, connected to our uh, Reactors Blue CD compiled with Visual Studio. Uh, today uh, I am not going to focus on how to uh, connect WinBot to Reactors, neither to to how to compile Visual Studio, but just focus it in the debugging session. However, here you will find some links if you need uh, to several other videos uh, where I will go on to explain how to perform such. So, okay, uh, let's begin and we have here where um, you can see the first thing when you're running, when you run reactors in debug mode is uh, this, which is called WinBot. You can see that here you have this basic state and the debugger is running. And it's, it's pretty funny because um, really uh, when it says that it's basic, really it's not doing anything. I mean, uh, just <laughs> we are here, we can move with our mouse, whatever, in reactors. And yes, of course, it shows uh, when we move some traces, that's uh, the object of WinBot, uh, retrieving all the traces that um, all the traces that the reactors is doing and also performing the bugging sessions but um, you can see that this is in basic state that it's in basic state um, we're going then to perform uh, first we are going to recheck again that reactors is still um, obviously failing because we didn't fix it so CD uh, the settings, administrator, desktop, and let's run our test case. Okay, it's failing, it's still failing. So, okay, the wheel back session starts. Uh, the first thing that we are going to do, or that I'm going to show you, is um, I'm trying to, is to show you my my favorite tool, which is the in reactors the door, because this lets you to navigate through our uh, functions uh, since it's a database with all the functions, data fields, globals, etc. So the first thing I'm going to, to show you is that add from resource W, if I hit go, it will okay, show you uh, that add from resource W calls GDI font resource, which if I click here will show you GDI font resource, if you click over there, it will show you uh, that it calls NTGDI font resource. So basically, uh, they are passing all the values from add font resource to NTGDI font resource. And if I click here, well, it will show you NTGDI font resource. Okay, and here is where all the tomato is uh, being made. So. The first thing I'm going to, to do is to create, is to force reactors, uh, to, 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 for, to break reactors in such API. So, okay, so I'm here and I want to show you WinBag in the background, meanwhile. So the first thing uh, with WinBag is that it's to learn that two commands first. We can break. Let's break WinBug. Okay, you can see that right now it's BASI, and from BASI state it passes it to I state where I can write really and write commands. Okay. Uh, at the same time, if I try to move my mouse in Reactors, you will see that this is stuck and I can't do anything. That's because the control is now in WinBug, not in Reactors. So right now we can control and we can write over here any command to control reactors. Uh, don't worry because we can move from controlling WinBug and controlling reactors just by writing uh, go. 
for example. If I hit go, G, enter, you can see that it's, a, it's again busy, and now our mouse is released. Again, I can try to perform again the same. I can break again, and you will see that I, that it uh, tell me is that I, I press it, control C, control break. Well, I really press it, this stop, which is the same that control break. However, you will see that now again it's stuck. So, uh, this is the way to move uh, to lose some, uh, um, you know, uh, to, 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 to begin uh, doing a performing a win back session. Um, okay, so let's, you can see that I have the control in reactors. Let's pick again the control in win back to perform something cool. Okay, okay. Uh, now I'm in wet bath. So the first thing that I'm going to perform or to show you is that here we have a lot of the commands, windows, whatever. Don't get afraid because I will show you the, the most used ones um, in, in, in this level, in this dummy level. So let's see. The first thing I'm going to perform, as I said, is to create a breakpoint, a breakpoint in Win32K with, with this API, okay, with this API in TDF on resource X. Why? Because, because this is where all the tomato is happening, really. Yes, um, this call, you can see that this call is returning, just the value that this call is returning. So this is really the one doing performing the job. So we are going directly to, to the tomato. So this way, breakpoint module, the module is run through 2K, and this is the API. So you can see that it has created a breakpoint module. That means that when the NTEDA at Phone Resource W is called at that, at that time, we're going to break into the debugger, into WinBug automatically, and we can control and check and view how our um, bars, um, params, uh, whatever is going on and try to find what's wrong, okay? So, uh, it's time we call, uh, it's time we call at from resource W, we are going to call at the end to NTEDF from resource W, and at that point we are going to break. However, I will show you in a second. Uh, another command, another pretty good command, is the DL, which shows you which are the breakpoints created. This is this, for example, this is the first breakpoint. You can see that this, this is the breakpoint we created, and you can see that its status is enabled, which means it's ready to jump when hit that API in such a model. So now we have just to go, let's go. So now we are again. So now Reactors has a control. Now Alpha Resource X, I'm executed, and suddenly, first look, my mouse is completely stuck. Okay? And secondly, in the background, you, you saw that, right? You saw that something happened. Okay, and this is what happened. I hit this go. And you can see that it says that it has hit the breakpoint number one. Yes, number breakpoint number one, which is this one. So we are now, now the control is in WinBug and not in reactors. Okay, um, you can see with this pink, uh, with the pink cursor that we it has stopped over there. So what has happened? The, the best way to understand what has happened uh, is to create, is to click in, just in this, which is called the color stack. Okay? You can see here the color stack. However, at first sight, maybe it can be a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, overwhelming, but look how we have here the NTEDA from Resource W, and here a lot of numbers, which really these numbers are APIs, models and APIs, which has been called in the color stack. Don't get worried, don't, don't worry, because there is a small trick, which is 
performing a reload and you will see how those numbers transforms or becomes uh, API's names. Okay. Okay. You can see how they have become API's names and now it, it's much better to understand what's going on. Okay. So let me, uh, let me go again step by step. Okay. You have to read this from the bottom to the top. You can see here that we have add from resource main. Add from resource is the module, which is the name, which is the name, by the way, of my of my exit. Um, so all this, 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 and this are three calls, uh, which are performed by kernel thirty two in order to load my add from resource. So for us, we will begin to look from here to the top. Okay. So add from resource main, if I, if I double click over it, on it, you can see exactly um, the line where it got stuck. Okay, so it is stuck at, phone, uh, at the first add from resource w call. Okay, um, then it shows on top of it, um, if I click, double click on it, it will open the file, the source file of reactors uh, which has been called. So, over my main app, called it from resource W, it shows, uh, it's showing now um, how from resource W is coded. Then you can see, uh, as uh, as we uh, we have seen in Dossian, the from resource W is calling GDI from resource, which at the same time is calling NTDI. Let's see. If I double click here, you can see that GDI from resource W is calling NTDI from. So, this is showing us how from my app, which is here, to the NTDI from resource W, we are going through the code, okay? And now we have to stop it over there. Well, this looks pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, these three lines, just forget about these three lines because this is um, this is telling us that we have moved from the user space, which is this uh, we are onto here in the user space, to the kernel space. So these three or four lines you will find it again and again when moving from the user mode to the kernel mode. Okay, so let's focus in in, in what's happening in NTDF from resource W and why we are returning failure instead of returning success. Because, so for that, for that, we have to guess to double click over here and you will see uh, how the NTDF from resource W is coded. And this is pretty nice because um, you can see uh, everything, uh, you can see all the bars over here and I will show you in a second but I want to first show you this button calling source arguments. This button calling source arguments shows you the arguments, the values of the arguments passed to each uh, API. So the alpha resource W is receiving as param a.ttf and also just a.ttf which is our first um, you can see, which is our first um, test. So this confirms us that we are checking or we are looking at the first test case. Um, then this is passed to GDF on resource W, A.TTF. It also includes some zeros, FL is zero, PDB is zero, all is zero, uh, until it reaches GDF on resource W. Another way to see uh, the locals uh, the local bar is this button called locals. Okay, so you can see, you can see, okay, our locals in this API. So we are in NTDA from resource W, and these are its locals. Uh, watch it that um, just um, look that here. You can find uh, these three, these six first are the params that is received by the API. You can see that they are not sorted but showing in the same order. Uh, 
Um, and these are the local bars um, which are here, but sorted in, in name order. This is pretty cool because this way we can have, if we have hundreds of local bars, uh, which you know, well, uh, will happen, well, they are at least uh, sorted by name, so you can find it pretty, pretty easy. Okay. Um, we can jump to, to see another locals, for example, uh, because it stores WinBag, it, it goes storing all, uh, um, all the locals to show you uh, what has been going on. So, for example, let's close this and let's click in another API, for example, GDI Ad from Research W. If I double click, the first thing it does is, as always, showing you the font file. Okay, so it's the source file. So you can see here that it has opened it. When clicking here, it has opened it, the, um, the source file. And if you look at the locals, now automatically, automatically it shows the locals of the GDL alpha phone resource. Okay, you can see that uh, it has just the three locals, which are these three locals. And you can see the values is a.ttf, zero, and zero. Okay, so just the file name is being passed with a real value, and the other are just passed as zero. Okay, so uh, what what I want, what I'm trying to show you is that you can you, that you can move freely without issue because right now we uh, Reactors has been stopped. You can move with a list from, from API to API, take it bars, take its local bars, and so on. So, the first thing that we are going to do um, to get some focus is, ah, something that I want to show you is that we can, um, we can close almost all. Um, if you get crazy in, in a second, suddenly you close all, you have all the buttons prepared, for example. This will open your command. Uh, we need also the color stack, which is this one. So uh, everything is there. You close it, but everything is there. So don't get worried if suddenly you close everything. It happens. So let's focus then in NTGDI phone resource. I have shown you how to use uh, this button, which is the command, which opens the command window, uh, these locals, which also uh, opens the palms, the bars, okay? Um, something that I think I didn't tell you is that you can see this black line. This black line is just uh, separating uh, the parents received by the API. You can see PD. And these are the local, the local values, okay? The local bars, the other local, the rest of the local bars. Okay, so um, there is a cool way. Uh, something that probably is a little bit odd is that here we don't have, this is a string, and however, it's not showing us a string, okay? There is a way to, to show, uh, for example, right now we are in NTGDI add from resource W. So if we we can uh, print these things values, these things values here, you can see that all the values from this window is printed over here with um, the V. Okay, uh, and you can see that the that, that if I do, I perform exactly the same, but in, in for example, this, now we are, now we are in GDI from resource W, I can, if I perform the same, now that I'm in GDI from resource W, then it shows me, it shows me uh, the palms of the uh, GDI from resource W. Okay, um, the thing is uh, that in this case I can see the string, but here I am not able, it's not showing me the string. Well, there is a small trick, which is uh, the next command I'm going to show you, which is 
uh, which is time or place display me Unicode display Unicode DU display Unicode uh, display Unicode and pass it the number of oh, the address number or you can be a little bit more intelligent than me and, and instead of writing and you will be much safer you can copy and paste yeah it's much better yes uh, so you don't uh, you don't sleep a number so you click it and what well, you can see that it shows us the a.ttf this is pretty cool because sometimes well winback doesn't show us the string and we want to track uh, this book is about tracking this string. So I think that for now, this small video, which is taking a couple of minutes long, I uh, have show you how to create a breakpoint, how to show you the breakpoint created, how to go and stop, how to break with bug. Uh, in the next video, we are going to step into and move line line by line trying to discover when and where this is failing so hope you enjoy it and see you in my next video